Why? Why? This question poses is meaningless. Man himself is the question and an unfolded answer. Man similarly trapped in the cycle of life like me. Journey, searching, inventing, possessing greater intelligence, getting getting whatever he wishes and resurrecting if lost. Perhaps struggling to be born from a darkened womb like everyone molded by nature. After getting birth, not identifying the dead. Walking with thoughts running ahead and why running? Just running ahead. On the hanging bridge of the present and the future. Losing the threads of the past. kept on running this, sometimes for himself, sometimes for others, according to convenience, sometimes for money, needs, selfishness. He kept on running and stopped, still went on revolving in his own thoughts, 
making the mirror of himself for searching the self and hiding the world behind the mirror. Creating colors lost in his cocoon. He started flying, carrying the same colors and adoring himself. He started recognizing the earth after leaving her. The brain molded after the evolution of thousands of years. Kept on learning with all pangs, senses, action and reactions of man's body. Then got fatigued. But kept on learning. Not understanding where to stop. Then collapsed as breathing failed. Stopped while running alone. He was deserted among the lakhs. Storms of fear and failure flash in front of dark vision. As he lost the supporting hands while moving ahead alone, he started building tall towers and castles for support and shelter. Man proved to be big enough to give rise to many powers and miracles. He started looking for the meaning of stars flashing across eyes. When he, he couldn't find a living man to stop it, he started bowing his head down to the feet of God. Imagine and formed by him. Man became intelligent, creating his own God for himself, building houses for his God and living there whenever need arises. Then man created disputes between faith, superstition, blind faith, belief, disbelief, truth, falsehood, and on the other hand, forgot humanity in human being, God in nature, and went on creating of imagined God, his photos, idols, masks, legions, and fables, and decorating them, adorning them, celebrating godliness of man. He started demanding answers of self-created questions from God and tender God for giving answers to him. He offered divinity to everything he didn't possess and everything he yearned for. Man, lost to the might of nature, try to enclose that might into the boundaries of temples. <laughs> then he started using three faces, four, six, eight hands, faces or bodies of animals, and crossed all the boundaries of imagination that man thousands of years later cannot even imagine that his ancestors created that God. Man went on doing everything possible. He prepared everything he didn't have but yearned to have by studying its color, line and shape or size. Now, man became an artist. He made symbol of each thing, giving him strength, including me. The symbol of power. Man, lost to me in the battle brought me to the temple. But as he couldn't tolerate my greatness, he made me the throne of some god or goddess and started celebrating the festival of his wonderful, miraculous, magical creation regularly.
It's good that my immovable image doesn't have feelings. Otherwise, it seems to be man is worshipping me, a tiger, offering his services to me and tending me. But it's not true. On one hand, my lifeless and artificial symbol was worship. On the other hand, man was struggling to kill my living and fascinating beauty. Coming in our direction. 
somewhere those searching what they wanted from behind the grass were identified and and we would win in the battle many times but the rival brain was so powerful that it changed the weapon to kill us a bullet shot and meeting with death we couldn't do anything that noise would rebound in the forest any time in day or night everyone frightened by that noise used to run helter skelter but now it is realized that there was no escape for anyone no escape Thank you.